I was muted. All right, we're gonna start with the reaction and my analysis. Let's get into it. Gosh. Hey, wait! Hey, Rain Thunder. That's not me, I'm here! Uh, phew. Oh, all right, hello, summoners. Now then, as you may have guessed, I, not a beach ball fay, have gathered all sorts of exciting news to share with you all. Okay. So sit back, relax, and get ready for the latest information on the Fire Emblem Heroes game. It's time for Fay Channel. Fay Channel. Let's get started. Hmm. Looks like there are plenty of exciting updates to share. How about we start? I'll turn on here. some vital here. <laughs> Since it's that time of year, and the season wouldn't be complete without it. Fay Summer Celebration is back! That's good. August 2nd will mark six and All a half right. years. Six and a half years? Damn. I've been playing the game for a while. Login bonuses, quests, quests. Since the launch of Fire Emblem like Heroes. Usual stuff. And Summer Celebration is all about showing gratitude to you summoners for making that possible. So we're going to get another Hero Fest. All right. I wonder what's going to be there. Here's what we've got planned for you. Interesting. First up is a celebratory login bonus. Oh, look. It's actually two login bonuses. You can get the items you see here if you fair. log in for 10 days during the active period. Oh, Faye, there's even a celestial stone. <laughs> Too bad I have too many of these, but if you, if you needed some, there you go. What would you exchange that for, I wonder? Mmm, decisions, decisions! Next up are celebratory quests and Aether Raids quests. Complete the quests while they're available, and you can get these items. These are like usual soul? stuff. That'll make the next Hall of Forms very Form soul, interesting. though? Yeah. <laughs> Form soul's pretty good. The Aether Raid structure features yours truly this time around. Stone in the uh, former soul. The birth of okay. Faye. But I guess Seafoam Fay is an okay name too. Moving on, Many. we've got Grand Hero Battle Revivals and related quests. The Grand Hero Battles you see here will be returning for two days each. So these are the new Some ones that came out. Some of these quests can get you Grand Heroes at right? a five star rarity, so they might be worth a shot even if you've done them before. True. There will also be some celebratory New Hero Summoning Event Revivals. New Hero Summoning events from August 2021 to July 2022 will be getting revivals. And guess what? In these events, anyone and everyone can summon a focus hero of their choice after 40 summons. Each event will only be on for three days. So try. Is there anyone here I want to pick up? <laughs> I, I want Latiza because I like Latiza. Man, all these Eden banners? Eden doesn't score that well anymore, right? But she is the blue unit that I want. Plus 10 Ash? That could be a possibility. I mean, all these recent banners that came out, there's actually like good fodder if you want to pick up. Mm, personally, for me... I can't summon until I finish Byleth. But there's a lot of stuff for everyone. Try not to forget. Jumpy indeed. As if that weren't enough, we've also got some celebratory special maps. We'll be releasing special maps featuring the top 40 heroes chosen in the A Hero Rises 2023 event each day for 10 days. Okay. Each map will be available at two difficulties, normal and hard. Rewards and you can earn up orbs? to 10 summon tickets and yeah, 10 tickets. orbs by completing them all. Hang on a second. What are these tickets for? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's celebratory a celebration gear are, th are these like the random ones I remember right the chance out of like many of them you can get random stuff try using one oh it looks like these are for the guaranteed four star special hero special rate summoning event where only heroes from the four star More special HM. hero special rate appear Phew. <laughs> before or during January 2020 oh. Oh, so that's the pool. It looks like you can get 10 special heroes for allies if you use all the tickets. Last but not least, we have a celebratory hero fest. Random. This will feature Alir in the red category, okay. legendary Violet in the blue category. <laughs> okay, Alir, whatever, right? She's okay. Violet, you guys know how I feel about the arena situation at the moment. I mean, this is just really annoying with the jumps, but it's okay. Winter Festival Black Knight in the green category. Honestly, he's not a big deal, so it's fine. It's like a fan favorite thing. And Rearmed Robin in the colorless category. Okay, this is this banner is like for fodder. <laughs> for fodder. Or I guess, 
Yeah, you can finish Byleth plus this Byleth plus 10 for wind. Is that my time to shine, chat? I don't even have a Byleth. Category. Did you know it's also the first time a rearmed hero has appeared in a hero fest? <gasps> How exciting! Or it can merge Since up it's Robin. It's a hero fest. The initial defense. appearance rate for five star heroes will be 8%. Oh, and Faye Pass subscribers will be able to summon a five-star focus hero of their choice after four... Oh, that's me. Uh, the starter pack heroes will be updated. Oh. So it's going to replace the current starter one, which I don't remember what it is. 40 summons up to four times throughout the event. They'll even have access to the focus charge feature Bilith for is it. an old legendary. Log in once during the active period. Hey, my, my Bilith is an old legendary. For this hero fest. You'll be able to make some powerful and reliable heroes your allies. That's it for Faye's Summer Celebration. To recap, here's a look at all the rewards you can get. All right. So recap, of course, the tickets for sevens are nice. Most of the stuff, like, maybe I take it for granted, but it's what we expect. The Forma Soul and the Stone is nice. For me, I have enough of these stones. Forma Soul is always good. So that's the key highlight here. Oh, it sure is a lot, don't you think? I hope there's something for everybody. With all the tickets coming in this year, I'm excited to welcome a bunch of new heroes to ask her. All right, what do we got? Speaking of... Faye, do you smell that? This is an engaged mm, banner. <laughs> Faye and Crumpets! A bunch of, of tea party themed is. special heroes are coming soon. Just Wait, what? I'm serving doesn't oh, mean I can't gosh. partake. Okay, never mind. First up is Lysithia. As usual, she takes her preparation very seriously. So we pause here. Desperation four, warp, pref a skill. I love the way she's done her hair. Of course, she's also Lysithia. holding on to the cookies. It's okay, Lysithia. No one will mind if you help yourself. Okay. A pleasant conversation is the perfect. Is it gonna be three houses nice and engage, or a pure three houses? Next is none other than Ferdinand von Eyer. Uh, flyer. I saw wind sweep. Dude, I think they ruined this guy. Expert. I'm sure he's picked up some delicious teas worthy of his family name. Oh yeah, because oh yeah, the the VA died. Sad, right? But <laughs> why why doesn't he have like a pre like no pref weapon or anything? I guess he's just no amateur. Yeah, sure. I can certainly do my utmost. Okay, we already had duo Sigur with a similar theme of like. That's fine. This is like butlers and Next, stuff, we have right? Sigurd, dressed all in butlers blue. And maids. That outfit is as composed as he is. Hold on, what was the thing? Next, we have Sigurd, dressed all in blue. That... Okay, gotta lower the speed. This is the, the downside of the speed. Pause. Next, we have Sigurd, dressed all in blue. Okay, so that's the, the, the damage reduction version. So, yeah, attack, defense, low speed, and res. You guys think this special is going to give people extra movement? He started from here. The blue mage, one, two, three. It looks like it's just three movement. Rare FE4 seasonal. I guess, yeah. <laughs> I'm like... The only ones that are seasonals from Fire Emblem f oh, 4. I guess it's 4, because, like, how else we can include 5? Because we have all those, uh, the Soray ones with Reinhardt, but those are Fire Emblem 5, yeah. That outfit is as composed as he is. I think his cloak pin was modeled on his ancestral sword, Tearfing. Who do you think the second cup is for? Welcome to Tachi's Tea Time. <laughs> how does that sound? Tail 2. And here we have Tachu. Tall 2. Uh... She got the short end of the stick. <laughs> what is this? Uh, Faye, I guess it's still water three. Perfect match for her adorable personality. The only thing sweeter than this tea party host it is, is cute, the pile though. of treats on her plate. Like, like I said, like even if the banners don't impress me or the units, at least they're they look nice. But <laughs> maids and butlers aren't Must my thing. Dress this way. There's more to tea Are you kidding me? It. Okay, for a second. Okay. We gotta have a talk here, and maybe we shouldn't, but like all these dark haired or like raven haired ladies, they just all look the same. <laughs> we got what? We got Carla, we got. Oh my god, what's her name? Astra Lady, Larcy. <laughs> no, we're Finally, here. we have. Ira, right. A harmonized hero pairing of. I harmonized hero. Okay, let's see. We got our feud. Supreme Astra? Oh my goodness, is this going to be inheritable? <laughs> we got Vital Astra, sir. 
Okay, so she's a sword cav. Okay, it's not like four movement or anything. Uh, clash. Is this like some like super refresh skill? Probably some super refresh skill. Ira and Mercedes. These two complement each other nicely, don't Mercedes. you think? Have some Ira's a bit rough and tumble for tea parties, but she'll get plenty of support from a calming presence like Mercedes. Lysithia, Ferdinand, Sigurd, and harmonized hero Ira will appear in the Invitation to Tea Special Heroes Summoning Event. Tonchu will become your ally if you earn enough points in the Tempest Trials Plus event. Ah! <laughs> She's a TT unit. Uh, she'll still water, right? And now, I'm craving something sweet. And it so happens, I've got this shaved ice here. <laughs> okay, about four minutes left. Oh, oh, brain freeze. Hey. Will Zack summon? Oh, right. I don't know. We have some information on the next version update. Let me introduce okay. a little bit of the content coming Is in. Is it going to be the same stuff? First up are some new maps. Okay. New maps are always nice to hear. You know what? This is a new thing. We'll lower it down to normal. Okay. Hit me with it. Five maps will be added to the arena. Well, okay. Um, hold on. Let's see. <sighs> Break blocks. Kind of open. Trench. It's okay. I thought we had this winter map already. <laughs> it was probably another winter map. The winter map ha was like bigger, right? It had like a bridge and there's more water and shit. Uh, this is break block for the enemy. This one should be okay. This one, it <laughs> the the one at the bottom here is uh is something. <laughs> Freaking uh trees and stuff this one this one could be scary for you because oh look there's a trench that they can stop you but like i don't know if they just funnel into the right it's kind of bad for the bottom right they always add new arena maps every august oh it's a pattern i never noticed what kinds of battles you'll face i, I swear there. they like i feel like they added every oh, whatever one ether raids kingdom, kingdom of asker and embla okay hold on let's take a look You always look for, are there un unbreakable walls? No. Uh, like, you wouldn't do this. <laughs> this map is kind of like, well, let me try to end turn on the tile. Like, why would you give your your opponent that advantage? Plus, of course, it's, it's so open. Wait, is this like, I, is this map, okay, aside from the defense tiles, the, I'm talking about the map on the left, the Asker map. Like this map sucks. <laughs> is is this? I'm trying to rem, I'm trying to recall all the maps. Is this like one of the ones that are like all open? Like there's no hazards. I mean, I guess you could say defense tiles are like a specific, but like really, what the hell? This map is so open. This one, yeah. Imagine on the the one on the right, the emblem map. If there, if these had some unbreakable walls, breakable walls. I mean, technically, could this one be used on the right? But it's like, why would you want to block yourself off, <laughs> right? In AR, on defense, you want to go in. I mean, this is good if you want to stop them, but then I don't like this one. The one on the right is still not good, right? I guess we'll see, but I don't think these maps are great for defense. For offense, well, I think this one's free. Okay, it really depends how you think about it, though, because if the map is so open, can you just put, put a line of units and then just win? But it might be too f open. Yeah. Asker and Emblian Empire maps for eight the raids too. <gasps> These should present some interesting challenges. <gasps> Faye, all this talking has me a, Is that a new toy? wiped out. Maybe I'll take a quick snooze at the inn. Faye, Faye, what's this? A new R and R amenity called. <laughs> They, they highlighted the it. The resort. Oh, so soft. So cuddly. Okay. Um, <laughs> hey, I'm awake. I'm awake. What's next? I'm awake when this summoning. Heroes are being added to weekly Might be doing that meme. summoning events. You know that meme where it's like the guy's sleeping, and then when they wake, they're like red eyes awoke. 
That's what's happening here. So what was this? Heroes being added to weekly revival summoning events. So we're going to have more summons. These heroes will be added to the weekly revival roster from August 13th. Which more weekly summons will are no good. longer appear as five star heroes. Okay, so I'm trying to remember who has good fodder here. <laughs> Gatry had a save. Did Gatry get a refine? Did Shinon get a refine? <laughs> Not yet. Oh, this guy's times pulse and solo and lull and dead eye. I don't remember what Jill has. Did Gatry get a save? Don't remember. Shamir has like a solo four. Wait for her refine. I don't remember if Catherine had a refine. I'm losing it. I don't think so. <laughs> don't, don't question me. Maybe she does. Uh, she's Swiss Barrow three and a lull, right? This is, of course, damage reduction lady. Uh, Guinevere didn't get a refine yet, right? No. No one? These are book four and five heroes? Oh. So none of them got a refine yet? Okay. Guinevere. This is Deke. <laughs> this is Deke. I'm like, yes. Does he have good fodder? Does he also have IP? I don't know. I don't think so. This guy had solo and lull? Waiting for her refine. She used to be good. Back in the days, if you want to do some pulsing action, but yeah. This guy has no fodder, I have him. This guy has a super rally and drive speed and warding stamps. I don't... And was this, Is she the one with the guard bearing? And impact? And then she is dual, and then he's dual. ...in other summoning events, but will instead appear at the four-star special rate. Finally... We've got info on legendary and mythic hero it's just the remixes. Next, uh, just like the roadmap, right? These heroes will be appearing in legendary and mythic hero remixes. <laughs> it, like on one hand, it's great that we're getting remixes for these characters, but on the other hand, can we speed up the refines on like regular heroes? <laughs> I mean, we haven't finished book three yet, and these and these legendaries and mythics were going to book five. Like, isn't that insane? I mean, I know, like, they're never like, are they ever going to refine Reinhardt or uh, Surter? I don't know. I don't know about those guys, but if we haven't finished book three yet, it's kind of crazy. Anyways, uh, what I'm looking forward to, hopefully, hell gets better. Or is she like another Sothis? You can finish your Regan. Yeah, Regan is awesome. When I finish Regan, like, she's just so good. Kanto, insane. Her special is insane. Good attack, good speed. Um, Plumeria getting a remix. Is, I mean, she's pretty good. Yeah. So, I'm excited for Hell. Plumeria, Regan. Eh. Eh. Like, I wonder how they're going to do these calves. Or, like, her. Right? Freya? Because her kit is for her to be, like, a tank, right? She has damage reduction. And she's, like, a duelist. Or she's supposed to fight units. But because she's a mythic... She can't get the bonuses from other mythics. So, until she's a... Whenever she, if she's not a bonus, like... <laughs> I don't, owner, they're probably going to make her even stronger. We're going to do damage reduction based off something else. I don't know what they're going to plan on that. Mira. Like, I don't... Dance or stuff? What, what can we see with dance or stuff? Either movement in their weapons, which would be a strong, or like debuff stuff, which they already have, right? These two. I mean, Trianja too. She has guard. So it'd be like Frightening Dream Plus. What would you guys like to see? If we see more movement options, it's kind of crazy. Lelina. She has to do like true damage somewhere, right? 
Is it going to be like, she's going to do damage based off 10% of her res or something? Or 10% of her attack? I'm, I'm going to guess something like that. <laughs> she has Hardy Bearing built in into her weapon. But yeah, she needs to oomph with the damage. Your Regan's plus nine. Oh. In the future, the heroes getting stronger with the summoning events in August are legendary hero Selif and mythic hero Freya. Okay, hold on. is there a pattern here, or is this, is this the... just they just pick whoever they want? I think this is pick whoever they want. I mean, maybe they put the legendaries in order, but the mythics are like, okay. I mean, they are, they all came from book four, so we're just gonna. <laughs> Future. Okay. The heroes getting stronger with the summoning events in August are legendary hey, heroes. Point eight attack, yeah, but it doesn't matter. You don't go to the DR. Lelina Let's sucks take a closer right? look at them. Selif will Maybe because I'm saying that because when I put Lelina on my defense in uh, AR defense, she doesn't kill stuff. Ooh. Okay. Hold on. Beginning the holy wars and. So he's getting the skills. They're gonna show the weapon refine. I don't think they show the weapon refines in this, right? Well, guess we'll see. They usually do say that until like the actual when the unit's released or data mined. Okay, so just more attack from because he has DC already, right? So he has DC ferocity. Okay, what does this do? Guaranteed follow up. They can't make a follow up. Attacks twice. He always attacked twice, right? When foe initiated, I don't know. Two skill. This skill can reduce the stats of foes during combat. With it, he can also perform guaranteed follow-up attacks and strike twice when he counters. On top of that, he'll be getting the distant ferocity skill. That ought to make him a master. It's suck. Can you guys see that? Like he doesn't have damage reduction, <laughs> so he he just takes 19 straight up. Ouch! That hurts. <laughs> Most DR effects are in combat, which means pre-combat skills like AOE ignore them. Yeah. But I, I still remember the days when I use Alina on off on defense and she doesn't kill anything. Attacks. So. Freya will be getting the binding necklace. Okay, so she speed smoke force and damage reduction, right? Okay, this is her B skill. Okay, that's good, right? Removing the condition to transform. Rip people who gave like beast follow up to uh, her. <laughs> All right. Okay. So compares. So, so the dodge thing, so this she has like an extra plus seven here. If foe initiates combat, or if number of allies adjacent is less than one. So you really kind of just want to enemy phase. So you can be with your allies if they enemy if you want to enemy phase. Or you can just YOLO and like player phase first. So you can get the speed smoke off, I guess. Plus three to yourself, minus three. Neutralize things that do that. And if they have a bonus, it's the usual thing, okay. Plus skill. She'll be able to transform unconditionally. Can calves do true damage? <laughs> I always looking because like the end of the game end of the day, the game is like, can you do true damage or not? Can you kill can you cheat kill? Maybe not. Maybe this is gonna be a stat. Speed will be yeah. treated as though it has plus seven for skills that compare speed stats. The effect that increases and reduces stats during combat. You know how? Okay, I I know I'm pausing a lot, but you know how in uh like new banners when they come out, they always have like the unit go against a unit that's like against the like the color that they're supposed to lose against. Like you have like a red sword user and they're going against like a blue lance or a blue mage, and then they, they beat them. Freya's going against Knot. I know this is for the lore, right? No, Knot's in book five. This is not even part of the lore. This is just like, oh, this is like in an AR scenario, right? Dude, she, she took damage still. Would and be okay with this trade? will be treated as though it has plus seven for skills Green versus that compare blue. speed stats. The effect Enemy that phasing. increases and reduces stats during combat. Ow, 17 damage. I guess she's still alive. also more powerful than it used to be. She's also getting speed smoke four. Hey, that's all for today's updates. What did you find most exciting? Was it the tea party? The hero fest? Or maybe Sami? <gasps> I don't like, think I could pick again? just one myself. Now then, I'll be on my way. Faye. Hmm. 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 All right. 
So to recap, what did I find most entertaining here or good for me? So thankfully they had a thing here. I already said it before, but we can look at it again. Oh my goodness, the video's loading. Moving on. So again, so here, this is like all the quests and stuff. Um, form a soul. Oh wait, no, this is not the recap one, right? It is. But they don't show the uh, the celestial stone here. <laughs> but anyways, form a soul. Celestial stone. Rest of the stuff is the usual. Um, what else do they show here? The GHBs, right? All these units are good. Okay, not this guy, right? <laughs> Tech, like, these two don't have preference weapons, but they will get it eventually. But the rate we're going with refines is going to be, yeah, I don't know, right? But yeah, these units are good. Sure. Um, this is like, all everyone here is all technically good. Personally, I want to pick up like Latiza, but I am saving orbs for my Biolith plus 10, so I'm going to wait on that. Um, I got new maps for the tickets, orbs. And this is the uh, banner here. Oh my goodness. Quality 480p, please. Okay. Um, this is just the random summon, so just pray. <laughs> you, you don't have control. I guess you can look at the, like... Oh, they don't even show the thing anymore. Where it's like... Okay, here's the list of heroes you can get. Hero Fest. Uh, pff, again, I'm saving orbs. I guess I want to pick up a Byleth, right? So, blue for me. I'll just, like, pick blue on my free summons. I'm not going to hard summon, right? Subject to change, of course, if somehow things happen, but... Uh, it should be that. Oh, I guess this is the recap. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. For me, form a soul, and I guess lesser extent to stone, but... I mean, the codes are good and all that stuff, but that's like the usual stuff. This six, 650 is supposed to be six and a half uh, years, right? Why, why, why not 65 uh, sacred coins, right? I guess they don't want to put like an odd number for coins, but... <laughs> uh, I think they should have. Five of each, though. Rage. 500. Okay. And then we have the units. I guess the ones that look cool. I mean, like, Stathiel will probably get something good here. She is a flyer mage. Ferdinand doesn't have any skills. Uh, at least Sigurd's not a dancer, but his stats are kind of whatever, right? He probably has a guaranteed follow-up attack because he has 31 speed. And he's attacking twice, right? I guess we'll see what the specials are at some point. You guys think uh, Ira, Harmonic Ira, is going to have like a... The, the Ashra has to be based off her speed or something, right? Probably. Probably has some damage reduction in there. Sure. She doesn't quad or anything when she attacks. just times two. And tail two we can pick up from the TT. I'd even mention... Um, <laughs> Ferdinand's got the generic stuff. New maps are always nice to see. But I don't think they're going to shape too much stuff. Like, we got those new Ether Raid maps a while ago. Like, the Book 4, Book 3 ones. Nah, I don't really see too much of that. I think I saw them once or twice. New accessory. Or a uh, thing. And the summons here, yeah, I guess they're mo being moved. That's nice, I guess. And then, yeah, of course, the remixes, I guess, are the bigger thing. Mm, yeah, so I already said my uh, choice there. All right, so I think that is it. Overall, I guess we're getting closer to the uh, CYL7, right? <laughs> I'm losing it, CYL7 units. So that's going to be later on. But yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching, chat. And I will see you 